As he drove his car underneath the Paramount Pictures' cream and gold arches and into the studio parking lot, he felt his pulse rate quicken. He even now disliked the Spanish tile roofs of the studio because it reminded him that Gail was far away in Seattle, surrounded by evergreen mountains and cool, crisp air, and she had never been here in the Southern California sun with him making love to him. He looked about and saw no sign of Lori. Once he parked his car, he phoned his friend and co-star LeVar Burton from inside his car. Hey Brent, what's going on with you and Lori? Brent wailed on the phone for at least a minute. Give me time to get myself together. Hey. What I'm about to tell you remains top secret, all right? Sure, LeVar paused, as if bracing for the worst. Hey, I don't like Lori. Something's not right about her. LeVar, it's horrible. I was in the green room, you know, where we go to prepare before a shoot. Patrick Stewart got me a beer, and I set it down for just a second, and that's when Lori spiked it with some mind-control drugs. I wasn't feeling well after I drank the spiked drink, so I went to lay down. That's when I started having a vivid dream about making love to Gail. My God, Brent, there are mirrors all over the place in that room. Yeah, so we can see ourselves as we rehearse between shoots, but I saw myself being raped by Lori in those mirrors from all these different angles. Brent wailed and couldn't stop. How did Lori get in bed with you? Well, I was feeling ill, so I went to lay down. I started having a dream about Gail when Lori walked in. My vision was so hazy I thought it was Gail. It was the mind control drugs. Brent wailed so much he couldn't talk. All right, Brent, whenever you're ready. Hey, let's talk about this at my place, okay? After work, come on over to my house. That evening, LeVar held Brent in his arms and rocked Brent from behind, while Brent told LeVar his story. I started having a dream about Gail. Brent sniffed and cried. LeVar, I can't tell you. This just can't be real. Calm down. I'm holding you in my arms. I believe you, Brent. I believe everything you're saying, and I know you love Gail. LeVar checked out Brent's rear, with swollen flesh, bleeding and oozing, and stitches everywhere. Wow, how did Lori do this to you? My vision was so hazy. I thought Gail and I were making love. It was the mind control drugs. That's when Lori climbed on me and started raping me. What did she do, Brent? She got on top of me, cowgirl, and she was doing me on top. Brent, you have such a long penis. How in the world? Yeah, and the weird thing is, she was able to sit all the way down on it. All 18.25 inches. It was pretty freaky. Was that the only sex you had with her? No. We did it all three holes, vaginally, orally, and anal. It was really horrible. How long did it last? After about 20 minutes, I ejaculated, and she got off and then sucked my penis. Then she got back on top of me, and this time she sat on it again, but she put it in her anus. It was all three. Did you think you were doing all three holes with Gail? No, I just thought Gail and I were doing it vaginally. It was so weird, because I was thinking Gail and I were in the missionary position the whole time. Regular sex. If you thought it was regular sex, how do you know you did all three holes? Because the memories came flooding back to me after the drugs started to wear off. That's awful, Brent. They came back pretty vividly. Exactly how long did your sex with Lori last? I'm unsure, since I was drugged out pretty bad, but it had to be at least a few hours. Then I woke up with her in bed with me. I kicked her out, wondering what happened. That's when I started to remember. Brent wailed and his body heaved. LeVar tightened his grip on the forlorn soul who was grasping at straws just to keep his sanity. Don't you think you ought to tell Gail about this? Brent's face became ashen. No, don't tell her, LeVar. Promise me. Really? It's too dangerous to tell her. Not as long as Lori still roams about Paramount Studios. Lori keeps threatening to kill Gail if I tell her. After what she's done to me, she's capable of anything.